I think Jerry West was the equal of Michael Jordan. Michael might have played the game maybe more athletic than Jerry did, but there wasn't a better clutch player in the history of the NBA other than Jerry West. Do your homework. Check out Jerry West. What a player. All the way through. But none of them have risen to the level and the stature that Jerry West has that we look at the logo and we always think of him. Jerry West, aka Mr. Clutch, the logo, is one of the greatest players the game has ever seen. And when you take a look at what he has done for the league on and off the court, his impact becomes even more profound. West greatly impacted the sport, from his iconic games as a player, where he set records for points and made clutch shots, to his important roles as a coach and an executive, where he built championship teams and defined the modern NBA. But let's really talk about how good Jerry West was on the court, because he had everything you could ever want from a player on both ends. Jerry West's skills as a player were unmatched. His scoring ability was on another level, and he had amazing talent for hitting crucial shots in the game's most intense moments, earning him the nickname Mr. Clutch. West's offensive prowess was complemented by his defensive tenacity. He was a relentless defender known for his quick hands and ability to read the game, often making game-changing steals and stops. It was the main reason why he made the all-defensive teams five times. His all-around game made him a perennial all-star and one of the most feared competitors editors in the league. West's dedication to the game was evident in his preparation and work ethic. He was known for his intense practices and his drive to improve every aspect of his game. This led to him being in the top 5 in MVP voting 8 times in his career and being on the All-NBA team 12 times. West averaged over 27 points per game throughout his career, leading the Los Angeles Lakers to multiple NBA Finals. His performance in the 1969 NBA Finals, where he was named Finals MVP despite being on the losing team, is a testament to his incredible impact and resilience. Jerry West's leadership qualities were a defining aspect of his career. He was a natural leader who inspired his teammates and elevated their performances. This is why it was such an easy transition from player to coach and executive. Jerry West is really an icon that will forever be remembered. With that being said, I'm going to show you all the NBA legends who shared how great Jerry West was and stories of how he became Mr. Clutch and the logo. Enjoy the video, man. Jerry was a great basketball player. I was more of an inside player, penetrating. He was a tremendous shot. Jerry was the type of player that, you know, would embarrass you. He was so quick and fast. I mean, he'd just blow right by you. Jerry has a way of setting up that marvelous jump shot that almost never misses. He was the guy I did not want to play because he was so quick and he could leap and he could get to a spot and all of a sudden he's up. You, you don't even have time to get up and try to block your shot. That's how good he was. Jerry West, always tough to stop. Jerry uh, was a guy that then just had super confidence and it bordered on being cocky. He totally confused me. And he saw the, he saw a look in my eyes, one of these uh, looking around looking for help. And then he just went to work. He was a clutch player. He was never afraid to take a key shot. And he could shoot that ball and he could run that court. Right close by to his offensive prowess was his defensive ability. And to me, Jerry West was the most underrated defensive player uh, in that era. It seemed that every time he was called upon, why he answered the call very well. But the talent obviously has to be there. If Jerry had been just another guard who shot it pretty well or didn't have the moves to free himself or get away from just about any kind of defensive pressure, you know, that wouldn't have worked and he wouldn't have become Mr. Clutch. Clock seven, six, five, the pusher shoots. Hit with three seconds to go. Two seconds, one second. West throws it up. Jerry was uh, just extraordinarily quick, about 6'3", uh, excellent jump shooter, but could penetrate, very wiry, uh, very quiet, but effective player. It was always interesting watching him. He could pass very fast and hard, but he had the ability to cut through uh, that middle and get to the basket with a variety of shots. He was always hard on himself. He was, he was, he was very much a perfectionist. And if he didn't play the game at the level that he thought he could play the game at, he was, he was not happy. 
Great defender, great scorer, great ball handler, great teammate. Probably one of the highest IQ basketball players that I've ever been around. He taught me so much about the game. He was considered to be one of the best clutch players played in the tough games. You see, that team always wanted to have the ball in his hands. Two seconds, one second. West throws it up. He makes it. Jerry West made it from the other side of the big point strike. Jerry averaged in one series over 40 points a game in the playoffs against the Boston Celtics. You gotta be kidding me with that great team. Jerry never got credit, in my opinion, for the defensive. I mean, he was a an offensive machine, but as an, me as an offensive player, uh, I hated for Jerry to play me because he was really, really good defensively. Game just cranking down the end, and uh, Bush has made a, a nice play. And, uh, Chamberlain takes the ball out of bounds and throws it to Jerry. I was running off the court to the locker room. I see this guy, Wes, dribbling up the court uh, with this hell-bent look on his face, you know. I was like, what is wrong with him? Two seconds, one second. Wes throws it up. He makes it. My career high I had against the Lakers, 44 points one year. That was in L.A. But other than that, I, I don't think I ever outscored West. Jerry West. His pull-up jump shot was absolutely vicious. See, that was just, he was more of a dynamic pull-up shot. You see that right there? So Oscars was, you know, using his body. But you see, Jerry's kind of like me. He's wiry, kind of uses quickness to get guys off. See? Nice, nice little up fake. I use that a lot, too. I'm actually watching the defender a lot and trying to figure out, you know, what is he seeing as an offensive player to make him do what he's doing or why that, why that makes sense in terms of, you know, what is he thinking at that moment and why did that move work? Now you're going to have Jerry West's probably get it and he's going to try to go all the way, most likely. He would let it go and he would just start running to the locker room. Five, four, three, two, two. Points. two. Everyone knew Jerry West was going to get the basketball. Before Jerry West shot the basketball, he, he would always boom, boom, boom. Dribble the basketball really hard twice. Boom, boom, boom. Bang, bang, shoot. Bang, bang. I mean, drive, stop, up, form, in. You would think that he wasn't that quick, and he was. You would think that he wasn't that aggressive, and he was. You would think that, that he wasn't that strong, and he was, and the guy was a smart player. He got all of his accolades because he was such a prolific scorer. But people who knew the game and who had to play against him respected how good he was defensively. There would be situations where you'd come down three on one with Jerry West, the only defender, and you were afraid to do anything with the ball because you knew you'd have it going the other way with it. Hated losing more than any man I've ever been around in my life. Jerry West, that good, y'all. Young guy, do your homework. Check out Jerry West. What a player. All the way through. Olympics, everything. Jerry West is the real deal. One of the most instrumental people, players, executives uh, in the history of the NBA in developing this game. His nickname was Mr. Clutch. He carried that moniker well because every time we were in that situation, boom, he'd make the shot. Two seconds, one second. West throws it up. You got to the point where you'd want to shoot it because you thought you could make it. Just throw me the damn ball and get away from me. Five, four, three, two, two. Basketball was not just a profession for him. It was a way of life. It, you can't measure him by, by points, rebounds. Um, you, you have to measure his impact on the game, which is really hard to do. But... You know, when we, when we look down here at the floor, it's the logo, it's, it's him. And, and how many people, you know, during the course of our lifetime that we've seen play basketball, but none of them have risen to the level and the stature that Jerry West has, that we look at the logo and we always think of him. Uh, you know, what he did, you know, on the playing floor, the teams that he played with and the people that he played against, uh, the way he shot the basketball, going right, you know, had the pump fake. He, he could do everything. I mean, like, like you said, defense, offense, um, you know, passing the basketball, and, you know, also was a great teammate. 
play with Will, play with the great Gail Goodrich, the very underrated Gail Goodrich. Uh, you know, they were a great backcourt, you know, those two. And also when you, when you look at, again, you know, one as a player, one as an executive, you know, when you talk about winning in life, mm -hmm. you know, he's, he's one of these guys who won on the floor and off the floor. He identified those guys that he thought could play team basketball and winning basketball. He was a master at understanding how to bring in the right guy at the right time. He always did a great job as general manager. He always was very passionate about the game. The Lakers and uh, me personally, we owe Jerry a lot. There's so many things that, that I had to learn about the game, uh, yeah, I, about how to play with other people. It just wasn't about the ability to score, or the ability to defend someone. With his speed and jump shooting prowess, West was practically unguardable. I'm in the bathroom and I'm tearing the bathroom up. I ripped three urinals out the wall. I ripped two toilets up. I ripped a couple of toilet doors out. I bust up a big <laughs> color TV and Jerry West comes in. What the F are you doing? Like I'm tired of losing. So he grabs me like right here and pins me up to the knee. Keep in mind, he's the general manager yeah, at the time. Nobody in the locker room is touching you. Yeah, You're no, a seven-foot guy destroying anything. the play. And he came in, because I guess he came in to address the team, but he heard me in there, and he just came in there, and he came in there like a gangster. What the hell are you doing? He just pinned me up. You dummy. I went to the finals, I think he said seven times. I went to the finals seven times before I won. Your time's going to come. So I was like, the great Jerry West went to the lost seven times before he won one. Oh, I don't feel so bad. He got that old man shrimp. He just, I don't know where he had it, but he just kind of, he kind of like brought me on my tippy toes a little bit. It's supposed to be uh, symbolic of the league, not of a person. And so the gentleman who uh, did this, um, uh, the NBA picked him out and a five people that were on this, uh, list to possibly be an NBA logo. And so somehow, some way, um, the guy thought my silhouette, web, he didn't know who I was. He didn't know who these people were. And so uh, the other five were, I mean, the, uh, the other four were very prominent black players. He did not know that. Um, and so David Stern, when they used to ask him about this, when, when he was living, David would tell him it's a playground myth. And I think about two weeks later, the guy who picked this out, there was a big article on the New York Times about why this silhouette was picked. And he said it was Jerry West. And I said to myself, oh my God. I said, if somebody asked me this question, um, what am I going to say? I, I denied it. I said, I don't think that's me. And even though he identified it, so it was really an awkward period for me. Everyone says, well, they need to change it. And I said, well, whatever they want to do is fine. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and let me know where you rank Jerry West on the all time list. He was truly a legend who made a household name for himself. So make sure you like, share, subscribe, and until next time.